Okay guys, completion. So I sent a video earlier of all the upstairs and kind of why we won't be able to get you a video of that now because there's probably about 600 gallons of stain on your decks. They're gonna be wet for a couple days, but that's what we need to do. Um, look at this. It might be rotted. It might be pretty beat up, but I'll tell you from the street, your curb appeal is it's beautiful. Oh yeah, there's your door. I can walk on some of this here. Oh, dry spot. Dry spot. Okay, so here was the door yesterday. So we are locked. We're good to go. Uh, here's the outside. I'm going to try to turn here. Here's the outside of the door. Yeah, in the sun, this is very hard to see, but it is very nice. Um, I'm going to shut it. It might stick. But there you go. Let's see if I can get some shade. Look at that. It's nice and shiny and black. Uh, brand new. Look at this deck. Isn't that gorgeous? These cameras, these iPhones never do any justice to, uh, to this stuff. I'm going to send you some before and after pictures, though. They look amazing. But some of the pictures, they comes out a lot nicer than the cameras. Uh, what a day. So we went ahead, we stained obviously all the deck. Uh, we used something called a rustic brown, which lets us hide some of the imperfections of this deck. We, we can use the normal stain on the other deck, um, but we don't want to go, so we couldn't use the lighter stain, as you can tell, isn't that pretty? We couldn't use that stain on this deck because it would show all the imperfections of the wood. And we didn't want to use the older rustic brown style that hides stuff on a deck that's still really pretty that we got. I mean, amazing. I mean, that thing looks like it's brand spanking new today. I mean, we really, it, it's nice. So, um, so obviously, here we go here. I'm going to leave your paints right here. Um, and then I'm going to get you the little cans. And I'll put it on your receipt of what the stains are. So that way, if you ever need to touch up. Stains don't really touch up. Uh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. We do love what we do. It's tiresome. It destroys your body. But it also keeps you in pretty good shape. Look at that. So we stain. And look at that wall in there. Yeah, it looks brand new. Look at that. All that black's gone. Yeah, we're really happy with the way this guy turned out. Obviously, that door in there was masked. Okay. Um, so it's good to go. Everything is locked. We did not turn the water on or off. So we left the house exactly how we found it. I tried to spend the absolute minimum amount of time actually inside the house. And every time I was, um, we did it with uh, socks only. And we traversed uh, the deck pretty much with the... Um, we traversed the decks with ladders. It was just easier for us. But look at that. A lot of paint. Oh, yeah. I need to get a picture of that one right there. A lot of paint. A lot of stain. But look, that deck looks as if it was built today. I mean, that is stunning. You guys, make sure to come down here and walk down and take a look. And I think you'll be extremely happy. So there was nothing done today on this side in the front of the house outside of our normal... Uh, you know, the video I showed you yesterday. So I probably won't walk that area and re-show you that and bore you doubly as bad as I probably already am. A lot of people laugh at these videos because of, uh, you know, we get all excited about everything. But this takes a lot of effort. Uh, it takes a lot of work. It's hard. It takes a lot of materials and the details is paramount. And unfortunately, we don't always see that locally. So. For us, we always enjoy kind of the final walkthrough as the trailer's being loaded. It's Friday at the end of the day, a long day. Um, we love being able to kind of get through and show everything off and, and go home. So we did do all the supports and all the posts for you. And obviously the deck. Uh, we put a lot of stain on this one. The bottom one didn't need as much. It got two light coats. But this, we basically poured it, used it as a mop. 
Um, we wanted to make sure this one was hit as hard as we possibly could. So hopefully it'll gain you some time. Um, I would suggest the individual that built those back decks gets a phone call on this deck when you guys are ready because he did a nice job. Those are nice, very nice back there. Um, whoever it is, let them know your painters said you did a great job. So, well, thank you for your business uh, and thank you for your patience. And uh, I love to be able to come here somewhat rested and have everybody somewhat healthy and do the absolute best we can do because for us, there is no alternative on how we do business so for us thank you for again for your patience and your business um if you're any issues at all please feel free to give us a call anytime and my phone will be on even if i'm in idaho um, and i'll be back and forth all through november and december as well so any issues please feel free to give us a call and uh, we appreciate your business have a great day